Hello my friends, my name is Mohamed Naveed and this lecture I am going to teach you object menu in Adobe Illustrator. So what basically object menu is we will learn in this lecture. So definitely in order to learn object menu, first we need to take an object, definitely it will work on object, so definitely we need object. Then after what I do, first I will select this object, then I will go in object menu. Okay. So in the object menu, what do we have first? We have transform. What do we have first? We have transform. Let's suppose if you want to move, rotate, reflect, scale and share if you want to do definitely with the help of transform option you can do. First we will learn move. Let's suppose if you want to move. So how can you move? Just simply click on move and here we have the option of move. The first is horizontal or vertical. Let's suppose if you want to hold, if you want to uh, change the position of this object uh, horizontally. So how can you do? If I say here 4 and definitely as you can see that it move getting me so vertically horizontally if you want to change the you can say the angle definitely you can also do getting me the easiest way to remove or you can move the object is take the help of selection tool and just simply click and drag and definitely uh, you can say we can also move object in any direction anywhere getting me so this is the easiest way or you can also use move okay option then what do we have next we have rotate so if i click on rotate so here have the option of rotate uh, definitely I have check preview and if I change the angle definitely I can rotate my object in any direction getting me or if I if I'm using selection tool so if I come here so definitely with the help of selection tool I can also do let's suppose just simply click and drag and definitely with the help of selection tool we can also rotate our object getting me so we have two ways to rotate the first is definitely selection tool and second we have the op or rotate option then we have reflect definitely we have learned that what basically reflect tool is or what is the work of reflect definitely in reflect definitely in tool uh, but if you want to know definitely I will teach you now again so uh, I will go in transform and here we have the option called uh, definitely uh, reflect so definitely if you want to change the reflection let's suppose if you want to reflect your object in any direction or vertically if you want to reflect horizontally if you want to reflect definitely you can also do reflect getting me so this is the work of reflect and then what do we have next we have scale let's suppose if you want to change the size of your uh, object so definitely here we have the option let's suppose if i say here in the place of 100 percent if i say 150 and if i say okay so you can see that the the uh, the size of uh, this uh, you can say object has been changed getting me or uh, the easiest way i suppose is uh, just take the help of selection tool and just simply click and drag and definitely we can change the width and if i come here definitely i can change the height getting me so with the help of selection tool we can also change the height and width of our object then we have the you can say shear tool let's suppose if you want to change the shear means if i change the direction as you can see that now it's giving me something like this getting me so definitely we also have learned that what basically the shear tool is uh, but here we have the option that's why we are learning right now uh, that let's suppose if you want to change the, the definitely the the angle of your shear if you want to change the horizontal or angle definitely you can also be getting me shear will do something like this then we have the uh, definitely uh, completed option in transform <coughs> then we have the option in arrange let's suppose if i have two objects and if i change the color of this object and let's suppose if i have two objects okay and first what i do i will first select this yellow rectangle then i will go in object and in arrange and then i will click on uh, send to backward so if i say send to backward or send to back so as you can see that now this object is back of this object getting me so let's suppose if you want to send your object back of another object so first, first you need to select your object then you need to go in object uh, object menu and then arrange and definitely click on uh, send to back and let's suppose if you want to uh, bring your, your object front so how can you just simply select your object and then click on uh, bring to front and as you can see that now this object is in front of this object getting me so this is the way to change the arrange uh, then what do we have next we have a group let's suppose if you have the, the object like this and if you want to group them because let's suppose uh, if, if I select this object and if I move this object so just this object is moving not this object but let's suppose if I want to make the group of this object so how can I do first I will select these objects then I will go in the object menu and then I will click on group and uh, if I click again, as you can see that they both are now one. Getting me. If I remove one, so definitely the, the, the another object is also moving. Getting me. If I change the, you can say if, if if I change the rotation, you can see one of one object, the another object is also rotating. Getting me. So they are one. Getting me. And uh, uh, 
uh, as you know that uh, we also take the help of group solution tool let's suppose if i just want to work on just this object and i don't want to ungroup this object or this definitely i, I don't want to ungroup so definitely if i come in toolbox and if i click on group solution tool and definitely uh, with the help of group solution tool i can uh, do work on definitely this object and uh, then if i come out and if i take any other object and if i select again so still they are one getting me so with the help of group selection tool we can work on definitely on one object at a time getting me and if, then what do we have next we have ungroup let's suppose if you don't want if you don't want to group them anymore because they they both are one but let's suppose if you want to ungroup you need to just simply click on object and just simply click on uh, you can say ungroup now if i take the help of selection tool as you can see that i'm just able to move one object because they, they both are not uh, object anymore take me then uh, we have the option called lock let's suppose if you want to lock so just go in lock and click on selection and if i chain or uh, if i select this object as you can see that now i'm not able to select this object why because this object is locked okay so uh, because this object has been locked so therefore i'm not able to change the height i'm not able to do anything getting me so me lock means lock and if i want to unlock i will click on unlock and if i uh, now if i take this uh, the selection tool if i move that means i'm able to move getting me so lock means lock now with the help of lock you can not able to do anything you will not able to do anything getting me then what do we have next we have hide let's suppose if you want to hide anything if you want to hide let's suppose if you have this thing and if you say that you know i don't want to remove i don't want to delete uh, this object but i want to hide it for a while so what you need to do you need to just simply select your object and then go in object menu and click on hide and hide and definitely and as you can see that now we don't have uh, that object anymore and let's suppose if you if you want our object back so what we'll do we'll click on show all and definitely will show our all objects getting me so this was lecture on uh, object definitely menu definitely we will learn expand definitely all these options in our next next lecture i hope you have understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navitplace.com i love you and i will meet you in our next lecture. till then allah hafiz